I invited 10 strangers to renovate my abandoned Japanese house. Let's see how this goes. I'm super excited and we have a lot of tasks to do. It's not only about me teaching, there's a lot of skilled people, a lot of skilled labor and a lot of passionate people coming and I'm really excited. For example, you see my pine tree up here. I'm really worried that it's uh, unalived. And the same has happened to one of these things there. And I'm a little worried that with all the tens of tons of trash we put down here, uh, it damaged the roots of the tree, but that we will see. We'll also have a big barbecue here. My friend Kevin will come and put a nice barbecue setup up for us. And all in all, I'm really excited to get going. Imagine what you can do with 10 people here in just one day. Let's see how this farmhouse changed. And before I show you the work we did yesterday. Yeah, here it is. We tightened this up and filled in with some plywood. And where did the water go? That I don't know. Uh, we made a huge mistake by not fixing this in time. We had some problems with uh, the home center and delivery. So yeah, if you remove your roof, please fix it up as soon as you can, preferably the same day, but uh, you live and you learn. And now we're almost there. This is a little bit separate from the Akia masterclass that me and Everpost shot. That's a great one, by the way. Check it out in the link in bio. But I'm aiming on creating a small community of people interested in buying and renovating houses in Japan. Kind of like a coaching community where you learn how to do things, where you learn how to avoid mistakes and where people help each other. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And sign up for my free newsletter if you maybe want to be a part of this community that we're creating. So you're saving us, Kevin. What did you get here? I've got a bunch of burgers and hot dogs, buns, gas, barbecue, <laughs> uh, obviously a first aid kit. Yeah, we need that. Just in case, some ketchup, and then there's also cheese in there. It's the least Japanese barbecue party I've ever seen, I think. So we all met up at 11 a.m. There we are. How are you, Teddy? It was supposed to rain today, but we were really lucky with the weather. We started with a tour of the compound to get to know Chiba Farmhouse and each other. It's not the nicest shed. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you. It's pretty bad. Dude. It's really bad. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a lizard. There are two lizards. They're called the Yamori and they're a sign of good health usually. But everything is termite eaten because of the water leaks. So you yeah. yeah. see in the, in the floor. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Kyle. Hello, Kyle. Hi. How are you? Hi, Ru san. <laughs> no, that, that's the. It's just a plastic cushion cushion floor. So we got to change it in order to like just level the floor in the right level. And these are things that are kind of cool. I don't know where it comes from because it doesn't leak on the second floor. Everywhere. Oh, yeah, we'll keep it, but I don't know how to decorate it. Maybe just keep that so we can pick up the... Yeah, the soul. But, but there was someone from like a temple coming here to like unbless it. Do you know when this place was built? No, I have no idea. <laughs> I would guess that it was built in the 70s. I don't know the size of the house exactly, but there are a lot of rooms and a lot of space. It's bigger than I anticipated, yeah. like seeing it in person. It is big. And actually, it has a decent wood smell. Are you going to destroy the wall here to have a bigger space? I don't think I'm going to keep it. For here? Yeah, the base is not... Shiroari? Shiroari. So you see the termite here? So if you see in the ceiling here, we fixed it all. It was, it was literally raining. It was a pool down here yesterday. I think this is more of a, um, like a fun project. Yeah. My, my projects in Tokyo now, they're like so businessy, if that makes sense. Yeah. And I cannot really come there. I cannot bring people to yeah. help out. I cannot like, I started with like this entire thing as yeah. just a passion thing. Yeah. We have a bunch of 
I have so many kimonos. <laughs> I knew that's why you should, you should make a dress. Out of <laughs> I know. There, there are so many things I would like to do. And Kellen is fixing the water leak out there. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't like the owner, they passed away. But it's actually better than I expected. <laughs> Show us your uh, your main tune. Main tune? I don't know if I don't know if it will work on this flute though. <laughs> So all my guests started working. Seth's son here was whacking weeds with my brand new weed whacker. And Josh here was clearing out all the weeds by hand. He's a pro and will teach us more about my trees later on in this video. The ladies were getting hands on and lifting the furniture out of the house from the second floor. Good job girls. And of course Kyle was helping out too. I'm so surprised. We've been here for like one hour and people are actually working and enjoy it. Like, I don't even have to tell people what to do and people are just moving. You hear everything in the background? There's a kusakari, a weed whacker. Kellen is doing the flooring there. And I'm learning a lot as well. Akatsuka Kenta desu. Why do you like Akia and DIY? なんでだろうね。あの、やっぱ価値が減ってきたものがなくなってるものが手を加えることによってその時代に合った価値をまた見出せるということが素敵です。Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you Akatsuka-san. Okay. All right guys, how's it going here? Right on, we're talking about survival skills, man. <laughs> yes, you the, should do. All the stuff's out of that um, Oh, it is? So we can probably knock the back door out, it's all rotted away. Like, just imagine, like, if this one goes, and then you build something cool here overlooking the house. Let's just take the shed down, what do you think, guys? I didn't think we were gonna get this far today, but the weather was great, and we were in the DIY zone. Before we knew it, we had decided to take down the container. And we had just the right guys for the job. Hi, it's Sean here from Australia and this is Peter from where are you from? Michigan. Michigan. And we're just demolishing this hut on Anton's farmhouse property. Good fun. Show us how it's done. <laughs> because we're so expert in demolition. Oh yeah. So what we're doing right now is we're gonna demolish and remove the entire container that I cleaned out a few weeks ago. You remember this shitty termite eaten water leaked container? By removing this one, I think we will have a better view of the pond. And there's also like a little shed behind there together with a bathtub. But we haven't been able to see it, but hopefully we can by the end of the day. Everyone started helping out to bring down the old container. I too finally had some time to do DIY and got my hands dirty. That was a good one. And the final team here. We were making good progress, but we got really carried away and almost pulled down the power cables. Yo, what's the point of pulling that down right now? Yeah. But what do we need it for? Well, it runs, well, it runs to the house. The well, it actually runs back that long. The one goes back to the main power. Phone oh, okay. But that's that's phone cable only, right? Well, but I don't know. Tester, you don't know that. He wants to put a flag on there. A Sri Lankan flag. <laughs> Luckily, we already turned off the live wires and the electricity for the shed. What do you think? What should we use this pole for? Let us know in the comments. All the walls were finally gone from the shed and we were ready for the finale to bring her down.
<laughs> Tell me your name, your profession, and why you're in Japan. Hi, my name is Antonio Miliaris III. I'm in. Uh... <laughs> Yo, do, should we start cooking? We should. Just like Mr. Antonio said, we had all worked really hard and deserved some barbecue brought to us by Kevin. Antonio fired up the grill and started smoking these meats and sausages. Wow! <laughs> grill Master hey, Milares. Hey, you want a hot dog or a cheese dog? I would love a cheese dog. Here, How good is that one? Good. Is this my breakfast? I don't even, I don't even remember. I had jet lag for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, Antonio came from uh, the Philippines. Antonio, have you had some food yet? I have. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm snacking, brother. All right, I would like a burger. So it's about 4 p.m. We've been working here for how many hours? Five. We have no container right here. And we have about 20 people showed up in total. Some people are still barbecuing and eating grapes. And then I have the cool boys smoking in my garage. Hi, my name is Josh. I'm from London. Um, I'm an English teacher, but I'm also involved in permaculture and regenerative agriculture and trying to move into landscape design. It is a sign that the tree is dying. There's the moisture problem okay. with the tree, and then there's the lack of canopy. The amount of lichen on this says that this tree has probably been without leaves for a long time. It's got a few leaves still, but you can see it's not doing well. You've got vertical splits here as well, and in various other places, if you look, up here. Yeah, that doesn't look healthy. That's, a, that's all bad science. That's the tree is dead in a lot of places. It's just saturated with water. The bark is peeling off in a lot of places. And again, you've got massive amounts of uh, beetle damage all over the base, and it's very wet. And even a lot of the branches up here, the ones that were very dead, were saturated with water, rotten. From the inside out. But this is been going like this happened in like no time. Yeah. It's not that natural orange, that nice amber, it's greenish in color. Yeah. It's infected. <laughs> this tree is 100 percent diseased. While I was thinking about how to convey the death sentence of my pine tree to my president, I was really happy about what we accomplished so far in just a day. To celebrate, we went down to the beach just a minute away. We caught the sunset, but the weather wasn't great. But this didn't stop Seth from going for a naked swim. It just started to rain a little bit, but it's not really too bad. Yeah, we have some good waves. About 19 people. Beach right now. It's like, and I'm a little bit tired. I can't thank everyone enough for joining my first DIY Aki event out in Chiba Farmhouse. It was an incredible day, awesome people, amazing vibes and delicious food. Nice. Very hungry. Very hungry, very good. Good job, Kellen. I'm thrilled to see so much interest in buying, renovating and adding value to neglected properties. My hope is that my events like this offer a soft landing for anyone considering their own Akia journey. We're already planning more events, so stay tuned. Sign up for my free newsletter at antoninjapan.com to get the latest updates from Japan first. Thank you so much for watching and I see you very soon. Sayonara!